Okay. My, uh, my next guest is a uh, young actress who has a leading role in the new uh, NBC comedy series called Grand, which is seen on Thursday nights at 9.30. Would you welcome Bonnie Hunt? Bonnie? <laughs> Yeah. Are, oh, you your, are you in your second week now? You debuted just a week ago or yes. two weeks ago? Yes. Grand, huh? Yes. Got, got some nice notices? Well, I got great reviews. Everyone else kind of <laughs> shaky. <laughs> so it's working out great. Yeah. You're new to television, but somebody said you came out of uh, Second City in Chicago? Yes, I started in Chicago. I knew Martin a couple of times. Oh, I didn't know that. We worked together. We date. I can't even remember. No, we just uh, slept together. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but not dating. No, know, but it was fun. Date, right? That's okay, then. Mm -hmm. He yeah. never called. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> I started in Chicago. Yeah. My, my husband's still out there, actually. Yeah. Which is fine, because once the career takes off, we'll probably get divorced. <laughs> you, know? and, uh, you do have a husband in Chicago, right? Yes. Now, yes. is he still there? He really is there? Yes, he is. I go back there whenever I can just to. They say that's myself. good for a marriage, though, to spend a certain amount of time oh, apart. I think even when we're home. Year here, year there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, that's all right. You can, well, you can um, touch me. What's wrong? I'm kidding. Did somebody tell you I'm before kidding. the show you're not to yes, touch Mr. Said, Carson do at all? Not touch him. Whatever well, what you do. What kind of a staff do I have here? <laughs> I'm, you can touch all you Several want. Several of them asked me to touch them, which <laughs> is interesting. Yes, yeah, well, I believe that. <laughs> No, no, but I was a nurse, you know, for I a didn't, while. I didn't know. Somebody said you were going to be a nurse. Were you a real nurse? I really was a nurse. Mm -hmm. Young girls do that. when they, they Kids want to be boys, want to be firemen or dying. <laughs> girls want to be nurses. Yeah, well, my father, when I told him I wanted to go in show business, he said, great, go to nursing school. So uh, I did go. Are you a good nurse? Yeah, I, I think so. I really yeah. liked it. I mean, when I was a student nurse, I was uh, pretty shaky. One yeah. time I had this patient, uh, I was walking past his room and his light went on, meaning he wanted somebody to come in the room. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah. A nurse. And <laughs> I stopped, and this other nurse came down. Thanks, Martin. This other nurse came down the hall and uh, looked in the room, and she said, oh, he wants to go back in his bed. I'll put him there. And I said, well, I've been working as a nurse's aide when I was in high school, so I think I can handle it, right. you know, just run along. And uh, because I was trying to show how much I already knew. Yeah. So I went in, and uh, I knew that proper body mechanics, you learned when you put a patient back in bed, you put both your elbows underneath his arms and you pivot him into the bed. Oh, I and, see. I know, didn't know that. Very easy. Well, he had a bathrobe over his shoulders. So I went and I, you know, pivoted his chair to the bed and picked him up and he had one arm, but I didn't know it. <laughs> so I just start going like this, you know. <laughs> get this guy over to the bed and I didn't put the brakes on the bed so the bed slid away mm -hmm. and I gently put him on the floor and ran out of the room and closed the door yeah. because you know I thought this is it for me I, my career's yes. over I'm and... glad you went into acting yeah you you could be a definite hazard loose in the hospital yeah but it was a year later and I was I was going on rounds with one of the residents I was still in school and uh, but I did go back another right. student nurse I don't think I left actually today he's still sitting in the room no I went back <laughs> went back with another student nurse and she helped me get him back in the bed and we made sure he was all right and didn't tell anyone of course and uh, a year later I'm going on rounds with this resident and we get into this room and here's the same man in the bed and he goes get her out yeah. of here and the doctor still said, had the you one know, arm he, i hope <laughs> yeah. and he said you know he's old he's just saying things and i said are you kidding he has a memory like an elephant i haven't seen him in a year and anyway the fruit in the bottom of the yogurt you like that fly. the little med fly yeah. the snorkel yeah snorkel. you're one of few who enjoyed that uh, yes. would you would your parents support you when most kids would tell their parents i want to go into the entertainment business they'd try to say no it's it's, it's cruel you have to learn rejection were they supportive when you went in or did they try to talk you out of it well, I think my dad was a little nervous about it, uh, just because, you know, being a woman, and um, he wasn't a woman. No, maybe. I understand. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> and, uh, but my mother worked at NBC in Chicago I didn't know for, yeah. for about 12 years, and uh, now she works at Shriners, Shriners Hospital in, really? in Chicago. But she worked there, and when I was growing up, she always talked about, you know, show business and how great it was and how happy she was to be home with seven children. And um, <laughs> so I really dreamed of always doing it. And, uh, you come from a large family. Right? Yeah, yeah, seven kids. But my mom was kind of strict in her own way, you know. One time I was going to wear this um, low-cut dress to a wedding that my cousin was having. There's four daughters in the family and three boys. And my mom said, well, we only have a couple of really nice dresses, so why don't you ask one of the kids at school if you can borrow a dress? So I did, and my girlfriend gives me her older sister's dress with this dress with this plunging neckline. And I thought, well, I'm going to be really mature and go to the wedding and meet somebody. And um, <laughs> so I'm going to be really mature and go to the wedding and meet somebody. Anyway, so... <laughs> I thought there was an echo here for a moment. <laughs> so I, I brought the dress home, and my mom said, no, you can't wear it. It's too mature for you. It's too revealing. And I said, I insist, insisted on wearing it. So that night when I went to put it on, my mother had sewn one of my brother's white dickies 
<laughs> yeah, so, but, you know, I was protected, protected and people, you know, said they were sorry about the accident I was in on the way to the wedding. <laughs> we're coming right back. We have to take a break. Stay where we are.